Hey RM, this is my video store, my room, my shelving uh, for display. Why I don't keep glass cabinets or metal cabinets because uh, they're kind of expensive, 200 bucks a piece. I would rather get like a cabinet, like a half a cabinet, not the uh, full cabinet they have for 250 bucks or something like that, 200 bucks for like plates and dinner like you would put it into a downstairs plus this is upstairs unless you have your room downstairs you might have more support you get the heavier items but for me I would rather have like the half a cabinet but the cabinet that I have it's like one piece so I cannot take the top part off I don't mind having a little bit of glass but not if it's all like the sides are glass, the back is glass, the shelving is a glass. So you can put your best movies on there, but if you're playing like heavier uh, items like for display, toys and stuff like that, and then you move it around every now and then, one day you might be moving it over a little bit, and it might crack or something, and the shelf is garbage. So glass or metal I don't like metal anything metal so has to be half like half a cabinet like a short one not the long one that you would find in a family room so those are for upstairs they're not too good maybe if I have it downstairs I could put more expensive toys in it in a year or two, I might get into more Transformers, more into Doctor Who toys, more into comic book toys. But I want to build up this year my VHS and get some more TV shows. If that's the bulk that I watch, plus build up whatever I can for horror and get back into my music, NES, Atari, and then the display maybe I'll, I'll work on some better shelving and start getting toys so that's going to be the plan so I don't know how far that plan will go depends how much food I have to buy if I buy a lot of food then that will hurt what I get coming in so I have to be careful not to buy too much food and not to buy too much pop or junk food Popping junk food will boost up my food costs. So, I have a little idea of what I want to add into my room and why I don't like glass shelves. I see a lot of people buy glass shelves for the busts. Those cost around like 500 bucks. So, I can see why they want to put into a display shelf. But for a display shelf, I would rather have it mostly wood. The doors can be glass, but the shelving, I don't want it to be glass. Or the side, because you move it from a corner to corner every now and then, one time you might move it, something will crack. And, or you put something heavy on, and that will crack, so put more weight. But I'm not going to get into anything that expensive for movie busts, like Terminator busts that cost 500 bucks, 800 bucks. Maybe in four years, five years, I might buy a Terminator bust, but not in the next couple of years. So hopefully it'll give you an idea how to set your room and set your budget for your shelving. If you can afford to buy shelves right away, then do that. But I don't know, glass shelves or a glass display I don't like those at all so I know that just me I would rather have it all wood I'll make it look more like a western old western atmosphere which I like those old movies they have a lot of wood a lot of wallpaper and have like an old cabin type look not have metal futuristic shelving glass cabinets and it's good and all but 
those are very, you have to be careful with them. They could crack any time. Wood, it will fall apart, but it won't cost as much. So, unless you're buying the cabinets, which will cost the same amount. So, I would rather invest into a cabinet, but not like the long one. But that's just my setup. I already have one cabinet, which I could build off from that if I need to get more display for my more expensive movies. Whatever you call expensive movies cost 50 bucks and up. I call expensive movies. So it doesn't have to be rare, but it costs me a lot to get into my collection, then I'll consider that to be rare. So thanks for watching. If you're watching me build up my room here, which I call it a personal video store now, thanks for watching. A little quick look around how things are. It's got shelving to the limit. And if I move my table, I could put another two shelves here. But then that's where I do my unboxing for my thrifting. I can only go thrifting once. And now I've got the middle filled almost. So, and my haunted dolls. Don't have very many movie busts or stuff like that. They're not in my budget, but dolls and stuff like that. Stuff animals, they are. So, little Disney toys. Some snacks, but I really have to limit the snacks if I want to get these shelves filled with the movies I like. Thanks for watching. And trying to get a couple more posters. If you're doing posters without creases, you're paying up on that, so. Whatever you get for your collection, that's what you're going to have.